Hi guys, my friends on YouTube, um, welcome to my channel, thank you for being here and um, if you like this content, well, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe, alright? Uh, why am I sitting here behind this jungle of Kitleas? Yeah, they are all grow rich now, uh, Kitleas and yeah, well, none Kitlea. <laughs> I think I purchased orchids from them two or three times. And I, I've been really satisfied. A um, little higher in price level. Um, well, as you see, you get what you pay for. And here I want to show you some examples on what I'm seeing. Diamond Focus Love Eye. This one had two years to flowering size. One year ago. Kind of expensive at the time. Now you can find this one everywhere for a reasonable amount of money. Diamond fork means well, this one can carry two different, totally different coloured and shaped flowers on the same regime. So, uh, yeah, and this one has been for the last couple of weeks in my cultivation cabinet over there. So, it's been receiving a little bit more humidity than it's normally given. And yeah, already I can see some results. Shiny, good coloured leaves, no spottings, not too much sun, it doesn't really like to be in too much sun. Um, haven't, I think I've only watered this one once in three weeks. Yay. The uh, humidity saturates its roots anyway. So, Diamond Focus Love I love this one. This huge thing is the... Uh, BLC Golden Cell. What variety? I'm not really sure of. It only says BLC Golden Cell. But I think I got this one two years ago. Been put into semi-hydro. Growing really well. Lovely new canes. And good roots everywhere. Crawling. So, but it's a large size Kitlea, as you can see. Comparison to my hand. Well, I like it. It's a nice, nice foliage, well-grown plant. Aurasic Crispin Rosales Lucan. Lovely, lovely dark pinkish purple and red with golden veinings. Yeah, the, the red tinges to the canes and leaves indicates that this one's blooms will be a little bit uh, reddish. <laughs> When exposed to a little bit too much sunlight, so I keep this one a little bit damp with light. I try to at least, but even this, the damp with light is a little bit too much for her. Yeah, but these markings will go over. And this one is growing like crazy. The uh, RC Alma Keep Tip Bali. Lovely new roots, almost growing out of his pot. Even though I split it up into. Uh, Yet another piece with five canes, which I gave away. Uh, I saw that lottery. So she's growing uh, several canes each year. Yeah, good quality plant, really, isn't it? Uh, this is BLC Cornerstone Fine Circle. Gorgeous pink round flowers. Kind of huge flowers, around 90 centimeters. Yeah, this year. Growing this cane and uh, a few more to come here. Yeah, you can see she's a vigorous one, really loves to produce canes. So they are well grown, well worth the price. Today I'm all sweaty. We've been having over 30 degrees Celsius in this country, but a lot of humidity, and uh, still, soon, yeah. We're, we're approaching midnight and we still have 28.2 degrees Celsius here in my kitchen, so I'm really floating away. So I'm a little bit happy I didn't buy too many. <laughs> anyway, yeah, good pack. They don't ship them um, bare rooted in packing peanuts. That's my previous orders. That's a good thing. I, I'm growing a little bit tired on throwing away packing peanuts. Yeah. 
you guy? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I've been visiting their website many times lately. So I saw a few orchids I really, really wanted. But as I usually say, there weren't enough to make an order. But the shipping costs aren't, yeah, very high. It's only 14.95 euro. But instead you have to pay about one or two euro or something like that in tax on each plant. So yeah, <laughs> in the end it will really be the same amount of money. So doesn't matter. Ugly pot, not so tall, but it's a good cattleya. Wonder what it is. Yay, I've never seen this variety. Cattleya Vachevichii, this size, before. I had one seedling, I think, and it, yeah, a couple of years ago, and it withered away. These guys are really, really difficult to get hold of, much as mature size. So um, this one should be flowering sized, and it should be a large size plant. So uh, maybe this one cannot be flowering. Yeah, maybe it's been blooming there, but well, I haven't had this variety, as I said, as a large one, as a blooming size. So I'm not sure about its uh, how tall it will need to be before it can bloom, but. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's any background information. Cattleya Vorchevichii, and it's a species. Flowering size, kind of expensive, 35 euro. Comes from Colombia, blooms in early summer, and it's a large size plant. And even its flower spikes are <laughs> quite tall. And very, very large Cattleya blooms, yeah. Maybe the largest ones there is out there. It measures about 12 inches across the petal tips. And it can produce up to 10 flowers per spike. So uh, that could be a real show stopper. Couldn't it? So, um, yes. Not much new coming in. Yeah, it's been divided here as well. So let's hope that we'll produce something new. And this one is a gorgeous little plant here, a gorgeous little orchid. It is the Paphiopedalum Sanctus Within. Yeah, I had this one before, but that one was a sad one. It had good roots, but the plant itself was just sloping and it had some ugly spots to it. And yeah, I just didn't want it around anymore. And in case of some spreading of some disease, so I'm not sure what it was, so, well. Anyway, uh, it's my second attempt then, and it's flower size for 25 euro. And it's a good sized one, really good sized. And yeah, it reminds you, perhaps reminds you, it's foliage of uh, yeah, a rarity species. And what, which one could that be? It's Steve Rochilianum, crossed with Philippinensis. And that's a really, really classic cross with tall spikes, with five or more blooms on each spike. Blooms in spring to summer. If you keep it a little bit more shady, the depth of the color to the blooms will be a little bit better. So, yeah, that's just about it. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -ba. Hmm. What? Can it be the little... Jesus, now I really do need my glasses. Diamond Focus, Rossi Eye. Yeah, this one is a small, small, small size one. But I just felt that I wanted to have another Diamond Focus. I only seen the Lobby Eye out there. This is the very first time I ever saw a different variety to the diamond focus. Sitting in some kind of uh, moss, uh, small grey bark moss mixture. Yeah, growing root tips as well. There. Yeah, it's kind of small, but as you saw the other one, almost doubled its size. So, yeah. 
funny to have. And what about it? 90 90 euro rare species from Borneo. White and yellow blooms. And the basal uh, blooms will be a little bit yellow orangish. And for the downward spike, the blooms will have, yeah, will be spotted. This one needs a lot of water, can be kept in small grey bark or perlite or sphagnum moss. And blooms in summertime, and it is fragrant. That's all I know about it. Yes. Now, ah, it's the Cattleya El Dorado Mount Ito. Yeah. This one, you don't see it very often. This one was quite expensive one, 45 euro. But I felt I needed this one, really needed this one. Lovely, lovely blooms. This one is a uh, lovely new growth there. Um, and it's a species and it's a really warm grower. Highlight orchid. And its blooms measures about 11 centimeters across. So about four, three and a half to four inches. Yes. I'm really into Kitlea species for the moment. Oh well, I've always been since my temperature in here is 28.2 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's useless to try to keep uh, cooler growing orchids in here. Or even intermediate. It should be hot growers. Really, yeah, they put an extra layer of bricks, fake bricks, shall we say, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, onto the real bricks, <laughs> yay, clay bricks, on my house. So uh, there's a new facade out there, which uh, keeps, really keeps the heat inside, as well as they uh, switch windows from two glass to three glass windows and it's so hard in here, you wouldn't imagine, so maybe, yeah, I should only keep hot growers, but uh, we shall see. Yeah. Uh, yay, it's that one. Yay, I forgot, I just forgot. Wow, this is a really, real well-grown one. Um, it's an interesting one as well. LC Ballet Folklorico. Eloquence, eloquence. Look at her. This one was a large one. Yeah, I will need to put a pop up up here in this particular video on its ancestors and stuff. Good. Not so bad of an order, is it? This order is quite alright. A little bit rare, funny order. Well, I know there's going to be the um, orchid show in Lund. Visiting the uh, German and Danish vendors. So, um, yeah. That will be all, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this little video on the Grohl Rechner orchids. So, take care, guys. And until I see you next time, take care. Have a lovely vacation. And lovely summer. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.